Hey, all you jazz fans out there in the night, this is Jimmy Rudolph coming at you live. Not undead, but live from WZMB Jazz at 3. From historic Tribeca Studios in New York City, the greatest city in the world. Gonna reach into my satchel now and pull me out a little satchmo. Oh, God. Didn't like that, J Bo? Jamie Bogart, folks. J Bo, why are all you pappies voting for Fast Jack Black? Because he's all dollars and no cents? No offense. I'm not a pappy, Jimmy. You don't pay me enough. A quick traffic update, fans. The Brooklyn Bridge is closed due to a sudden zombie surge from Brooklyn Heights. Kill squads have them isolated, but stay away from City Hall area. Beneath the bridge, zombies and squad members are falling into the streets below, flooding them with blood. Now a little Louis Armstrong and uh, what a wonderful world. <laughs> And we love you too, Louis. Now let's take a call. Welcome to WZMB Jazz at 3. Hello, this is Crystal from Williamsburg. Uh, the Italian section or the zombie section? Italian adjacent. What can we do for you, Crystal? My husband passed away after he was bitten by a zombie at the newsstand. I called the cranial company. The minute he passed, like it says in the phone book, they said they'd send a cranial guy between 7 a.m. and 9 p.m. yesterday. Well, he never showed up. Now you listen to me, Chris. It's important to take the head off before he starts to come to. I know, and I've been trying, but my knives aren't very sharp, and I'm just making a mess. Don't they, you know, come back after the third day? I thought I saw him twitching, but it might have just been bugs. Uh, Jimmy, may I? Crystal, first thing you have to do is immobilize your husband. You got an old heavy TV? Yes, it's black and white. Does that matter? No, place it gently on his head. Then do the same with the refrigerator across his legs. Can you handle that? I guess. But what about removing the head? Text us your address. I, uh, I know a guy. Hey, you see that, folks? When the student is ready, the zombie killer will appear. Back after this, don't you change that channel. Raceway Park! Are you ready for the Zombinator? Three stories of truck take on 50 zombies. Leadfoot jumps over the pit of the undead. And the Compactor. 50 zombie stuffed SUVs are not enough. At the Meadowlands, Thursday, 7 o'clock. Be among the first hundred and get a bloodproof poncho. Bring the whole family on down to... Raceway Park! Tickets available online or at Ticketmaster. We're Trocador! Sam Dubinsky acts tough. But listen to what his own mother says about him. I used to change his diapers. Sam Dubinsky wears diapers, and that was before the zombie apocalypse. Sam Dubinsky. New York needs a change, and so does he. And we're back with jazz legend Louis Armstrong. <laughs> Fans, with all the chaos out there, it's hard to run an election. But lucky for us, the Big Apple has a friend in Trocador creator of all those fine products that keep the zombies at bay, employer of thousands of New Yorkers, friend to humanity, and full disclosure here, a sponsor of WZMB Jazz at Three. We have with us now in the studio, Carl Litwack, Vice President of Outreach for Trocador. Mr. Litwack, thanks for coming on. Jimmy, big fan. Well, the city is broke from dealing with the zombie menace, so the good folks at Trocador have stepped in to pay for the voting machines, the poll workers for this election, yet some people insist that this situation could foster fraud. Are they misled or simply insane? Neither, Jimmy. Just ungrateful. We could have moved our plants to China or India, where the zombie problem is less severe. But we stay here because... Darn it, we love New York. We love the mess, the vibrance, the democracy. And by rigorously maintaining all aspects of that democracy, we feel we're doing our part in bringing New York back. You can't keep us down, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> and all this nonsense about Trocador backing Fast Jack Black, pressuring pappies in offices all over the city to vote for the Democratic ticket. What about that? Mr. Black has a lot going for him. He's able, doesn't wear diapers, or have a vagina. But we haven't endorsed anyone yet. When we do, Trocador employees will vote in their own best interests. Won't you, Jimmy? 
Uh, yes, sir, and thanks for coming in and clearing up all this conspiracy guff. <laughs> you know, he's given us a lot to think about, eh, Jay Bo? Sounds like Fast Jack Black might be money in the bank. I thought he was all dollars and no cents. You shut your filthy mouth. Folks, sure we got blood in the streets, husbands with bugs and an ugly mayoral race, but I'm with the Satchmo. The scabs will clear from the sewers, someone will be mayor, and Jabo will get that guy's head off. And as we sign off live, not undead, but live from WZMB Jazz at 3, it really, really is a wonderful world. <laughs> I look 